a place of maximum displacement on a standing wave is known as? Well, if you recall on the standing waves, let's draw them like this. Assume we've got it stuck here. We've got these areas with minimum displacement. These are called nodes. The areas with maximum displacement, there or there. Antinodes. In this case, we have three nodes, two antinodes. And again, in a standing wave, it's not in both places at once. It's going to be oscillating back and forth. So at any given point in time, you might have it look like this. And then a second later in time, it's going to look like this. What are the ones called where we have maximum displacement? Well, maximum displacement, right there, that's an antinode. One last sample problem. The diagram below represents two pulses approaching each other. Which diagram below best represents the resultant pulse at the instant the pulses are passing through each other? Well, when they interfere, they're going to follow the law of superposition. That means their amplitudes are going to add. We have one positive, one negative, and the negative is a little bit bigger than the positive. So what we're going to end up with is a net negative, but smaller than the initial. Two must be our correct answer. Thanks so much for visiting us with educator.com.